In today's video, I'm going to showcase one of the best blitzing formations in the entire game, and that is the 4-6 Bear defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what I want to encourage you to do is go ahead and click subscribe because my channel is devoted to giving you tips, strategies, tactics, uh, concepts that you can use in your game plan to be able to improve your win-loss ratio in Madden, be able to be a better player, be able to have more fun playing the game. So um, in today's video, we're breaking down a free blitz for you. So again, we upload four times a day on our YouTube channel. We also stream every single night. And so we just love for you to be a part of our community. Now, 4-6 Bear, this is very simple defense that I'm about to go over. Uh, I've talked about this a little bit before, but the uh, play that we're going to do um, today is we are going to just use the wall stunt. Now you don't have to use the wall stunt. I think it works best from the wall stunt personally, okay? But this is a universal blitzing concept. It has to do with blitzing angles, and we're going to showcase that right now. So wall stunt, all you're going to do, literally all you're going to do, is you are going to crash your defensive line to the right. Okay, so it's going to look just like this. You're then going to take this guy right here, this linebacker, you're gonna zone him off. I'm sorry, crash your line to the left. Let's try that. Uh, you can crash it left or right, it doesn't really matter. You just need these, these slip angles here to the lineman. I think crash left works a little bit better. So we'll show, we'll show you. Then you're gonna blitz the safety. You're gonna keep it contained and the blitz is set up. And what you're gonna see is you got a five man pressure. Now you're either gonna get edge slash B gap, like you see right there edge slash B gap, or you're going to get A gap pressure, okay? Now, it depends on how the defensive, um, it depends on, on how well the offensive line, uh, especially how well your opponent is at picking up pressure. So here you'll see this is just a standard slant, and you see we're able to get that, um, that B gap pressure. Now, what they're going to do, I'm just telling you this is what they're going to do uh, to pick this up, is they are going to use a double team mechanic, and what you'll see here, they'll ID the nose uh, the nose guard. So if they do something like that, you're gonna see that everyone's gonna slide in. And you see how that swap exchange will continue to allow that blitz to come in. Now what I like to do, and this is just my personal preference, is I think doing a quarterback contain blitz makes these blitzes work a little bit better. Now at least for until they patch it. They, I have heard that there are plans to go ahead and patch these contained blitzes. But until they patch the contained blitzes, I want you to run them and run them into the ground. There you see we're gonna get that nice B gap, uh, five man B gap pressure at the quarterback. I think the four six bear is one of the better defenses in the entire game this year because of the things that you could do on the other side. But now you have a, a simple uh, pressure that you can use on the weak side of the four six bear that is then going to allow even better pressure uh, because your, your opponent's going to then become thrown off guard. So you've got that consistent gap pressure off that right edge. You're going to have consistent A gap pressure as well, depending on how they pick it up. Uh, and we'll show you that real quick here. So if you crash your line to the right side, we've been crashing them to the left, but if you crash your right line to the opposite direction, you're going to see against the right defense, you're going to get um, A gap pressure right down the middle. You see, we've got two guys through the A gap clean. So that's an option as well. It does depend significant. I mean, it really does depend significantly on how they. I would say slanting to the left side is more consistent, but you're not going to get a gap pressure as much. Okay, it's more consistent, but you're not going to get a gap pressure as much. Now, one thing you can't. Let's try this a little experiment here. If we drop that guy in the zone, you should see the swap. Yeah, we're going to see the swap as much on that. We drop that lineman off into his zone. But you're going to get the your when you slant them to the left side, like this right here, you're going to get uh, a little bit better. Uh, I would say a little bit better consistency from your blitz, but you're not going to be able to get more home runs from your blitz. When you slant them to the right side, it's a it's a pure overload. You see, you can get picked up sometimes. The A gap can get picked up. I do want you to understand that it's less likely to get picked up in game than it is in practice mode. Okay, than it is in practice mode. But you do something like this, and then you drop your user down like this, and basically what you're going to have is you're going to have heavy coverage on the right. You're going to take away the left side manually, and you're going to see this pressure is going to scream in off that B gap 
very, very good pressure for you. So that is a pressure out of one of the best defenses, in my opinion, the 4-6 Bear defense. Um, guys, if you want pressure setups like this, you want more stuff like this, I want you to check out our defensive ebook. We've got a full ebook coming out. The 4-6 defense is going to be one of the updates that we put into the guide along with the 3-4 Bear. Um, but our 4-6 defensive guide is out. You can pick that guide up in the description of this video. We've got a ton of content on there teaching you everything from not just pressures. I think I say there's three types of defense, right? There's run defense. There's coverage, um, there's the coverage behind the blitz, and then there's the blitz. And we're going to teach you how to do all three of those levels to make yourself a better defensive player in this year's game. So defense is a little bit more of a challenge this year, but I think people are starting to kind of figure it out. But again, I feel like my guide would be able to help you do that. And so if you want to get my competitive bundle guide, you can pick that up in the description below. It comes with an offense and a defense for you. Full playbook breakdown. Okay, so we're going to be updating this throughout uh, until we get all of, all of the formations broken down for you. So Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for your support. We're going to have a couple other videos coming for you today, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, I do want to encourage you to consider joining our Discord. Our Discord is a community of people that we have that come together every single day, talk Madden, um, basically a chat room, and you can get you can ask questions if you're having trouble stopping specific things. And by the way, if you ever have a Madden question, you can always text me. My number is always in the top left of the screen there, 812-216-3644. So we'll see you guys tonight on our live stream right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you can know when we go live.